Right, so in this video, we're going to test these. These are the new Migamo uh, Dio dry brush paints. Uh, they've just come out. Uh, some people are asking, why do we need specific dry brush paints? Why, why can't we just use regular acrylics? Um, it's a good argument. I mean, you can use both. Uh, but uh, from what I've tried of these so far, they actually work really, 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 really good. And uh, I think they're an asset to your uh, paint store and uh, an asset to your model building and finishing. Uh, paint has long been a science uh, where they've where, where they've spent a lot of time researching new paints, new mixes, new compounds to get better results, faster results, and easier to use results. Uh, so, you know, I I, th I think anything that comes out that's had thought put into it on that respect is a, is a plus. So let's dive in. Oh, I'm also going to be, we're going to review these. All right. I've got these dry brushes. I've had these a while. These are mine. I bought um, I thought it'd be a good time to, to maybe show you those as well. Um, we've got the big money versus the small money. These, um, these GSI Krios ones, they're pretty cheap. They come at like 10 bucks for a packet of three. Um, They're, uh, they're 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 okay. I mean, I I I'm very I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, the bristles on them are soft. The only problem is they do shed. See, I just touched it and it shed another bristle. Um, one thing I've noticed is when you stipple, these the clasp on the brush brush head here is is not great. So they push in if you're not careful. That's mostly probably on the smaller one, but. This is the this is kind of like the medium size, um, and then we've got the artist Opus, made in England, where I'm from. Uh, beautiful, bespoke brushes. Uh, the hair in them are uh, apparently top secret. Where they get it from? I know the guys have spent a lot of time researching when they brought these out, and. Uh, it, t it shows they are an amazing brush. These are considered to be the best you can buy uh, if you're seriously into dry brushing and you want like, you know, to optimize your results then, uh, and you got a little extra cash, then uh, you, go, you would go for these. So we can test them both. Um, I, use them, I use them for various different reasons. So to me, they're both valuable in their own respects. All right, so R2. Fresh coat of black primer, AK Interactive acrylic. This little fella's been sitting around. I've painted him up, and messed around with him, and painted him again. So a lot of the details are disappearing, but there's enough there. So, all right, so let's dive in. First of all, when you open these, you'll notice you can shake them a little bit, but they really don't shake much because they're incredibly thick, like bubble gum thick. So when you pop the top, you'll see it. There. You see how thick that is. Um, it's an air bubble. You see it drops in. Now, you can literally turn these upside down and they won't drop out. Oh, he says. <laughs> That's the first time. They are incredibly thick. So... I wouldn't do that if I were you. There you go. That's why you should wear rubber gloves as well. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, the nice thing is, they wash off really easy with water. Right, so with these, um, you don't dilute them. You literally use them straight out of the pot. So we'll start with the 
the gray. Now, everybody's got their own dry brushing technique. I'm sure you've, you've all got your own way of doing this. I do. This textured kitchen towel is really good for uh, taking the excess off your brush. Just like that. Test it on your hand. See if you've got a little light dusting. Beware, because the paint build up around the edges, around the edge of the bristles. So really just dab it until you, you've got hardly any on the brush. Um, so what I normally do is I'll start gently, just stroking where I want to highlight. That was my calendar, it just fell off the wall. And then, because that way if you start gently, you just gradually build it up. You don't want to go in hard, otherwise suddenly you'll get big blobs and uh, and it'll end in tears. So just gently stroke like that. Towards you, off the corners. Same with there, right off the edges. So you can see there now, it's just picking out those edges like that. You can come down the edge of that one like that. You're literally just, there's, you're not putting any weight on it at all. You're letting the brush do the work. Just gently stroke it with the tip of the brush, like that, just like that, really nice. And you can see there straight away, that paint's great, I mean it really is, I mean it, go, it goes on, it's thick enough that it doesn't really, um, it, it doesn't sort of hit the the places where you don't want it to be. Just the edges of where you're hitting the brush, like that. And that's where these edges, this where these brushes are beautiful as well, because the soft, the soft, the soft hairs really help this. Because if you have really, really coarse hairs, you're going to get it scratching, which is not what you want. So I'll just carry on down there, like that. Just picking out that edge down there, like that. And you can see straight away, the effect is really, really nice. Like that, you can get inside there, like that. So you can really get inside the, you can really get inside for the details. Really precise for such a big brush. Like that. Now, I'm just going to carry on. We'll finish that leg with the grey. And then I'll switch out a colour. So you can check out one of the other colours. They come in like, uh, I don't know, quite a lot of colours now. I've actually ordered some more. They do some metallic colours. Um, I'm really, really excited about this product. Like I said, same again, just like that. Really gentle. You see that I've got a little bit too much on the brush there, but that's all right. We can, we can go with that. Let's do that back piece. So you can really just all the way down that edge really hit it hard there get inside get those details there like that like that yeah so what we got there is really nice all right so really shows it off i mean you can uh, it's a nice little figure for that, like that. Okay. Even with the edges a bit soft like that, you can run that down there like that. This one here, like that. Literally. 
picking up all those details. We can go in now. Look. There's little details in there. On the tip of the brush. Like that. And that's it. So, what I'm going to do, switch parts. And we'll check out the GSI Krios by Mr. Hovey. And we've got the medium rust. Like I said, this is more of a stippling brush, I think. Because of the, the hairs on it, they're just... They're soft, but it's got a flat top to it. The round top on this is really nice. Because it means you can be precise with the center of it, but then you can use the outer thicker part for hitting more detail at once. So with this one, I'm going to stipple like that on those edges there. That. So I'm just gonna pick those out like that without rust. And then I'm just gonna hit it with the flat of the brush like that. Same with the ends like that. Keep stippling and stroking until you've got your desired effect. You see there, it's quite a nice color. You get a nice graduation on those edges. I'll take some more. That will be my airline. We'll take some more and we'll do the other leg. So very similar to the result we had on the other side. Um, like that. Same again, you just gently, like I said, gently stroke it. Like that, let the brush do the work. Now straight away, I'd say the comparison with this brush and the artist Opus is uh, the Opus is very is a, is a little bit more um, precise. You can see from this compared to this, you get a lot more um, bleed, what I would call bleed from this brush. Although this is a great brush, I mean, for the money, you know, it's it does the job, but it's it's definitely not as precise. So you can get that kind of like chipped edging effect by using one of these, which is quite nice. And then you can get really precise details by using the artist's opus. So we 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 can go back to this side. We can use, literally use this to stipple in some color like that. The rust is quite nice. And then mixing the colors like that. So you get a nice little kind of Effect. There's two tones. Really nice. It's funny when I when I start dry brushing, I get I kind of get lost in it. It's such a fun technique. I can totally see why. You know, people are completely fanatical about it. 
as a painting technique because it's so much fun and you get some great results I mean you can imagine this is this is just two colors uh, a whole spectrum of colors on this would be amazing you could literally dry brush this whole figure um, with the R2D2 colors you, you wouldn't have to use an airbrush No, I've really, obviously, I've accentuated this because for the sake of just the demonstration and the test. And these colours lend themselves really well to this. Like that. And what you could do is once you finish doing that, Stippling is a great technique for things like this. You know, you can really get in there. Like that. When you finish that, you can go back to the gray and just redo that line down the edge of those pads. We should have cleaned that off, but we'll go with it. Just artists open skin there, you see you can just touch those like that. Just gently kissing them down the edge like that. So you bring that line back. So, definitely my verdict is, get some of these. They're about four bucks a pop. Uh, well worth the money, you get a lot for your money. I'm sure they'll last forever. Um, definitely worth having if you use dry brushing as part of your model building. Uh, they work fantastic. I mean, it's the, they're perfectly formed uh, to use straight out of the jar. You don't have to thin them. You're not worried about, you know, different kinds of uh, results from using different acrylics. Um, they're consistent. And as you can see, you get great results. Um, I'm really excited about getting the metallic ones, I must admit. Uh, so there you go. Oh, and as for the brushes, yep. These Mr. Hobby ones, definitely worth an investment 10 bucks grab yourself a couple of those they're a good box standard budget dry brush and the artist opus like i said if you find that you uh that you're really into into dry brushing then you can do a lot you can't do a lot better than buy these these are fantastic and uh, they, they do them in little box sets you get like a little sponge to keep the tip damp while you're using them. Um, on their website, or rather on YouTube, they've got lots of videos showing you how to use that. Um, for all these products, apart from these products here, I got from Burbank House of Hobbies in Burbank, California. They've got a website, so if you want to get some, you can order them now. It's a little bit of a plug for them. They're my local hobby store and they're fantastic. And these, you can buy these in America. They, there are a couple of uh, shops that are selling these now in the, in the States. I actually ordered these from London. Um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and see you next time.